name is I'm Simon, and today I'm playing more Bloodborne. I've returned from the Cathedral Ward to the Hunter's Dream, so we can level up. And I don't remember if we actually got enough to fortify. No, we need three more. Okay. Let's just repair. We don't have any blood gems. Yep. So we cannot use this yet. Let's see first what German has to say now. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. So essentially, for the first few areas, German will show up after you kill a boss and tell you where to go next. He's not very, he's very vague about it, but he's essentially telling you where to go next. He told us now that we need to seek a holy chalice. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men but if the old hunter tales remain true one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? One of the holy chalice at town. Okay, so he's telling us that there is a valley below Yarnam, where there is an old town abandoned and burned and there is a holy chalice there he's essentially telling us to go to old Yarnam, right where the tragedy left it burned and abandoned do we have any we have some Also, in the fountain now, we can buy some more stuff, because we brought the Sohander Buds, which seems to be the basic stuff, essentially. And on the inside shop, we can find Gascoigne's stuff. I will buy it, and this inside is not that much, and we're not going to zero, so that's fine. You see, because our insight... Oh, I cannot explain this right now. Never mind. We lost insight, so our beast bar became bigger. The more insight you have, the more beast wood you can uh, stack. But beast wood is a mechanic I cannot explain right now. We'll see about later. So... Um, Hunter attire worn by Father Gascoigne. Similar to Hunter Garb created at the workshop, only these are tainted by a pungent, beastly stench that eats away at Gascoigne. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. The dingy scarf is a holy shawl and symbol of the healing church from which Gascoigne would eventually part ways. And I guess I can show you how it looks. Pretty cool. But not as cool. <laughs> ah, welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. You must have. What is it you desire? Do you have anything new? Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. 
again we're gonna go to 20 and we're gonna stop here and get a bit of endurance and skill afterwards but for now we're just pumping here farewell good hunter may you find your worth in the waking world so she said all these graves are here because other hunters have been here before us right also i i didn't mention but this place is very reminiscent of i guess the, the I don't remember how the beach is called in Dark Souls with the great trees inside the hollow. There's a locked door here. It seems like it gives the vibe that we're in some place in between, right? There is clouds below, clouds above. And we're just in between. In any case, I have to do a little bit of backtracking now, so I, I will uh, remove the loading screens. We're gonna start all the way back to first floor sick room. We are now back in Yosefka's clinic, and we're going to talk to Yosefka again. Hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yosefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Mm -hmm. Perhaps even cure them. Right. This sickness, these beasts they are not to be feared this time the night is long i may be trapped here but i should do something to help i'll even offer a reward for your cooperation tempted well off you go then so besides the fact that she asked us for a second time whether we're off to hunt the demeanor of the npc has changed i don't know if you can notice it the way she speaks her voice is the same but the way she speaks to you is different if you find anyone who's still human you can assure them please and she wants us to send humans here if you manage to look through this glass like you did you'll see that it's actually the same npc supposedly but it's actually not and the game is obviously setting it up so the beggar at Udin Chapel seems ominous and she seems like a good and kind doctor so you feel inclined to send people to her but she's not what she seems then we're going to continue this way and uh, go check up on our buddy Gilbert also maybe it's not immediately obvious but time passed when we kill Gascoigne, uh, the timeline progresses, and it's now evening, I guess. Early night. Evening is <laughs> the correct word. <laughs> then we're gonna go up here. Maybe we won't have to see as many loading screens as I was thinking about. Let's see if Gilbert has anything new to say. <coughs> I made it to the cathedral, my friend. Ah, oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I... take this... So if you're doing an arcane build, this is the first good weapon you'll get for the build. I make no use of it, but perhaps you. me was incurable but this time gave me hope their strange blood bought me time i was most fortunate unharmed by the plague of beasts i can even die human press x to doubt so he said he was sick he came to yarnum and 
the I guess the healing churches blood ministrations the the cure they've been administering through blood helped him and he thinks he's gonna die human and that he was unaffected by the plague beast the plague of beasts uh, don't you worry about me uh, which the alternative means that he wouldn't die human if he was affected by the plague of beasts I mean I can dance around it all I want it's obvious these people are turning into beasts right everyone here is I don't know what they are hunting. These people, when you kill them, they call you an accursed beast. So maybe they think you are a beast. In any case, uh, after you do that, well, I think we can avoid those guys for now. Just go this way. We need to go back to the little girl. We found the, uh, the brooch, right? Yeah. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter, used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon with the proper workshop tools. Yeah. We can use it to fortify. Oh, I didn't send the elevator back. God damn it, Simon. I'm usually pretty good at sending the elevators back. Do I want to send it back this time though? I do not. Because I will come back here. Maybe going to the other place I'm thinking about right now would have been faster to go first, but whatever. No, this is the wrong way. This is not the way. should be up here well, almost So I guess if you give it to her, you're essentially telling her her mother is dead. I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. I can wait. But isn't there something I can do? Maybe mom and dad are stuck out there, waiting for me to come and find them. What do you think, Mr. Hunter? Again, if you send her to any of the two places, the same outcome will happen. If you withhold information, the same outcome will happen. It will just take a long time time to happen so I will tell her food and chapel yes okay thank you Mr. Hunter I love you almost as much as mom and dad and granddad god damn that's sad thank you I love you almost okay then we're gonna go this way this way through the shortcut we never took early on. Oh, he's alive. It's alive. They are alive. I don't know, it's a dog. And we also have this one. So what is it now? There are much better ways to pass the time. Unless you found me a nice safe place. <laughs> this is very uh, kind. Not. 
We'll set you into Uden Temple. I mean, if we send you to Yasaka, it's not gonna end well. So. Well, what do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? <laughs> Go split some throats. Get this mess done with. And die with the old woman. Oh, what? Trot along. Chop, chop. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's done. Do we need to speak with anybody else? No, what we need to do is go back to the little girl. Um, yeah, I guess this way. I should have sent the elevator, but god damn it. We actually don't need to go all the way back. I wanted to show you something, but I guess... Yeah, it'll save us a lot of time if we don't go back there to show you. It's not that important anyway, I'll just explain it. So the old girl's, the young girl's house is all the way back there, right? So if she wants to go to Uden Chapel, she will go down the ladder that we went down, she will proceed through here and then she'll either come through the bridge or through the aqueduct below where the pig is. We're gonna reload our game. Now if we did this next to her window, you'd see that her window is now no longer accessible, there is no one there to speak to. And if we go here... And do this despicable thing <laughs> to this pig. The pig drops a red messenger a ribbon. Is it? The thick pungent red was drawn from the organs of some unfortunate victim. A strange choice indeed, but perhaps for the messengers wearing this accessory constitutes a form of mourning. You can use this item to dress the messengers essentially, but that's not the point. It's obvious that the pig killed the little girl, right? She tried to go to Uden Chapel and she didn't make it. Oh, come on, this ladder. It never ends. I'm gonna kill him for the vials. It's an easy kill anyway. Thank you. And now we want to go back to the Hunter's Dream one last time. We're going to use this. And we got a red blood gem. Our first blood gem. It gives 2.7% physical attack and 1.8% rally potential. A rally is the mechanic where you gain back health by attacking an enemy after they damage you. So you want to go here, here. Uh, this is a droplet. Droplets can fit in any slot regardless of, regardless of the shape of the slot. So you see we're putting a droplet in a star, in a radial one. Gives us some extra damage. And now... I think we're gonna go back to the Cathedral Ward. I don't think there's anything else. Let me think. No, there isn't.
Okay. So the old woman is not here. I haven't forgotten. But do you think I owe you something? Well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess at Yarnum's in, it's all your fault. Dupidity outsiders. Our blood's ruined, tainted by your ilk. Don't you come near me. I know your type. Yes, he's very kind. You. Very nice person. Indeed. Ah, oh, the hunter. Thank you. So that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. It's better if she don't talk to you. She's not very... If you find any sane survivors, send them a lot of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's three ways out of the chapel now. There's one way ahead of us. There is this, which is locked. And then there is this. This obviously goes down, which is where we want to go, to the valley of old Yarnam. But first, we're going to go this way. We can see the way up to the cathedral. I think that's a madman's knowledge. Oh, come on. Yeah, see what I mean? You, you don't even get a chance to properly dodge out of the way. Yep, another madman's knowledge. Then if we go up, oh, there's another one here. Nope. Ah, stairs. Okay, it worked this time. And here, <laughs> you can find the wooden seal. <laughs> if for some reason you want to do this in this game. Also, I completely forgot to show you this. We got the flame sprayer from Gilbert. A special weapon used by certain members of the healing church spits searing flames by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Not the most efficient weapon, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Besides, the beast of Yarnam can always use a good cleansing. So this weapon is a flamethrower essentially. And it has arcane scaling. It's on D, but it can get up to B or A, I think, if you upgrade it. If you play Arcane, you'll use it eventually. And then there is this gate. This is not the gate you open with a chief emblem, though that is the area uh, that the emblem gives you access to, but that is not the correct gate. So there is no way this way, essentially. They cannot go up. So we can only go down. Oh! What do I have equipped? Nothing, okay. I... yeah, I've confused myself now. Because I started the fight without a gun. Oh, okay. Now, it stands to reason that we want to go further down to get to Old Yarnam. But there's a few upgrade materials we can grab that way. And also, do not linger here. Because something will try to get you. We got the top hat, hat worn by hunters who admire formality. Some hunters place an emphasis on form, as seen by the use of the threaded cane. 
For them, formality, beauty and justice are the very essence of our humanity and precisely what keeps hunters from becoming something else. It's the, the hat. Uh, the rest of the clothes are pretty much the same with the hunter garb and I think they also have the same Yeah, it's just the one without the cape. This is it doesn't have a cape I prefer that and we'll just keep the top hat for now. I like the top hat So this way we can find some upgrade materials That's why we're going here first These guys are very slow, but they hit hard so just avoid their attacks if you want. If you don't want, you can just get pummeled, <laughs> like I am doing that <laughs> right now. Come on. more bloodstone shards if you go up here you will find a gate this gate has the same symbol on it as the hunter chief emblem only a special emblem open the main gate so I guess this is the main gate so it stands to reason that this must lead to the bridge and there it is the great bridge into the distance okay so you want to kind of be careful here don't pull the two big guys together there's no need and then you can probably see them but there are crows all around this guy you don't need to bother with the ones behind him or in front of him, but you do want to kill this one so it doesn't stop you from backstabbing him. He dead? Okay, you can immediately see these crows have some more health. They do not die in one hit like the ones before. Yep, that's the Great Bridge. This is where we fought the Cleric Beast. Down there is the Aqueduct, and this is the bridge where the guy uh, rolls the ball and hits us. This is where the two fat guys are, right where my hat is showing. And over there is the elevator, which, come to think of it, doesn't make much sense because the elevator is right over there, but the exit is right over there. Hmm. Interesting. We got the monocular here. You can obviously use that to look at things. Yeah, so this is uh, the aqueduct there. This is where the fat guys were. This is the bridge. Yada yada yada. How do I get out of this? No, I, I didn't mean to. Come on. Okay. I don't often use the monocular. I, I've played this game so many times, I've done view watching many playthroughs ago. So there is a guy with a ball and chain here. But you can see right where my hat is pointing right now, there is a, a wandering nightmare. They drop upgrade materials, so you want to run past him. Get the wandering nightmare, try not to get killed in the meantime. And then you deal with the game like you dealt with all the rest of them. Yeah, see, so it's better to just not lock on this guy and just stay behind him. And he cannot really hit you. <laughs> Easy peasy. 
and I guess this is where the cleric beast was sitting or somewhere up here and it jumped down to fight us we cannot go there we cannot drop down to the bridge from here we can go here which would lead to the door this is the door but we cannot access it the lamp is behind this And we got our first. No, it's the second. Yeah, we already found one. Physical attack up and HP continues to recover. It's not very strong, but. We'll use it anyway. Something still happening there. I don't think... Is there an item back here? No, I didn't think so. So we need to go further down now. To go to Old Yarlam. This is another view of the bridge. The small one. That leads to the aqueduct. You can be a bit cheeky here if you go, let's see if I can make it work. If you go next to this fire here, yeah. <laughs> this happens every time, this dog just kills itself. I didn't expect to get it, cool. Oh, come on. Some more Molotovs. We'll restock our supply in no time. Using them for the Cleric Beast is the, the best use case this early. There's a guy here. Nope. Okay, and we can see some item up there, but no way to get it. So we'll have to go around. The outside, around the outside, around the outside. Pinky pong, tiki 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 pong. This is also a nasty trap if you don't know about it. You just have to trigger the dogs and pull back. The guys with the guns can really stun you when they hit you. So having dogs stagger you as well at the same time is. Lethal at times. So now we are upstairs and we'll first go this way and meet this game's wannabe son, bro. He turns out not to be a son, bro, but nope. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Okay. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? He's the protégé of Master Logarius. And he's after vile bloods. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper and the Beast praying hunting gesture. is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. The good blood, as if there is a bad blood. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. He gives you two options. 
This one is more relevant later, so as not to confuse you, I won't go into it right now. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. She rhymes even. Uh, okay, okay, let's hear Holy what he has to say. is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. Okay, so it boils down to Bergenworth, uh, some scholars, researchers, uh, they found the holy medium, and with it they started the healing church, and I guess the blood ministrations and stuff, but now Bergenworth is abandoned, it's decrepit, and it's actually forbidden to go there. So either the healing church is hiding something there, or there is something there that I people should farewell. not encounter. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood guide your way. So you give us a few tidbits about the healing church, which seems to be the primary religious institution, even maybe administrative in Yarnum. since there's no other mention of uh, government of some kind. The church probably runs things. Okay, that lever opened the path forward and downward. Another gemstone. This is equally bad <laughs> with the other one. <laughs> it's actually even worse. Okay, that's dark. So you can see our lantern doesn't provide a lot of light when compared. Where did the torch go? Did I not pick up a torch? How the hell did that happen? Well, we're gonna find the torch later. Is oh come on, really, huh? Yeah, I knew my stamina was not enough to kill him in one go. Essentially, if you attack them, they cannot attack back. But you have to have enough stamina to kill them, otherwise you'll get hit. Nothing here. So you see we're going down, down, down. Into the valley below Yaranam. Okay, there's an item back here. More pungent blood cocktail, we'll use that. I will light the lamp, I just wanna... This town is long abandoned. Hunter is not wanted here. Obviously, old Yarnum. Okay, so we're gonna take a break here. I'm gonna go find the torch. <laughs> because I forgot to pick it up. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.